Hi there. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook page, uh, especially one that you can use for business purposes. And there are two ways to do this. One, you can create it from your profile. And the second way to do it is by creating it from the Meta Business Suit. So how you start is by going to facebook.com uh, forward slash pages. And uh, here you can see some page suggestions, but what you are interested in is creating a new page. So you click on create new page. And here you have the option of writing your page name, the category and the bio. Say for example, you are creating a page for a video company. Uh, uh, you can put your video company name, and then the category is as as you type some suggestions will come up so the category can be photography and videography and you can add several categories uh, based on the kind of page that you are creating so this is a videography so you can just search for videography again and see what pops up this event videographer and so you can continue with that um, until you reach the limit for uh, the categories. Best way to do is, is to have like just three categories or one category if that suits you. And then here you can add a short description of what your business is about and then create the page. So give it a few seconds to be created. And then here um, you need to finish setting up your page. So you write your website you write your phone number, you write your email, the location, the city, the town, the zip code, and the kind of hours that you're doing. If you're online, um, you could say um, always open, or if you don't want to show your hours, you can choose no hours available. So let's just populate this with a number, this, Choose your, your country here, just search for it uh, in Kenya. So, just gonna put a number there and then your email, your address, and the city, and the zip code, and the hours. If you open a selected hours, there is this pop-up that shows up that you can see on Monday, you open, say, for example, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this just helps your clients know uh, how, when you're open and when you're closed. So that they can be able to visit your shop, they can be able to visit your location, and once you operate that, you can save and continue. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna leave it at now. And then just click next, and you can see at the bottom uh, there's a progress bar here that shows uh, compared to similar pages. Uh, how is this page that you are creating faring? So the more you populate it, the better your chances for it to be seen by people and for it to be optimized. So it's best to actually go through the steps and complete all the steps so that your page can be well optimized. And so here you can add your profile picture. Ensure that your images are also high quality. So that's it, you can add an action button if you want people to, to let's say, have an easier way to message or call you, you can add that. Uh, so the different options are book now, sign up, start an order, view shop, get tickets. Um, uh, this is on uh, to help people support you, to buy from you. 
Uh, the second category is for people to contact you. This is send message on Messenger, uh, send WhatsApp message, uh, call now, send email, contact us. And then the last category is linking to your group or app. So if you have a website, if you have a YouTube channel, or if you have a group, you can add them there. Um, if you have a game, please direct them to a gaming website. Buy now. This is to a different website where you have your shop and not necessarily have the shop on Facebook. And then reserve is for people to be able to make a reservation. So these are different options that you can use as an action button. Um, for now, let's leave it at send message. And so this will help people easily send you a message on Messenger. Then you can click save. And that's added. So we go to next. And here it asks you to connect uh, WhatsApp to your page. The good thing about this is by creating a WhatsApp business account, you can be able to um, have people directly message you on WhatsApp. And a lot of people all over the world are using WhatsApp. So this is a really good way for you to engage with your customer. And uh, you can add it or you can skip it, but I would recommend that you add this. So how you do it is uh, by setting up our WhatsApp business account and then you would add the number here and a code will be sent to that business account and then you add the code and it will be linked to the page that you are creating. But for now we are going to skip this and probably I will share more about WhatsApp business in another tutorial. So here it says build your page audience. You can click here and invite friends to like the page. And then you can say informed about your page. So you can have uh, page notifications popping up on your profile, uh, even when you are not necessarily operating as a page so that you can see messages. Um, also another option is having marketing and promotional emails on your page. And once you do that, you can say that. And that's it this is how your page looks welcome to your new page and so you can take a tour and see um, the different sections of your page and familiarize yourself with them and so here is where you can switch between your page and your profile uh, once you click here you can be able to manage your page and here you can explore your pages feed if you follow people once you start following people this is where you will see people um, the people you followed as your page, not as your profile. So let's go to the manage page and I can show you a few other ways that you can get your page uh, optimized. So one way uh, that you can use your page is by adding other people uh, to manage the page. That is if you're working with, your, with a team. And so if you come here to page access, you can be able to add other people as community managers and as admin. And how you do that is just clicking here on add new. And uh, this will give um, specific people access to your Facebook page. And so you will just search their name and then invite them. And they'll, on their Facebook profile, they'll get an invite, which they can accept so that they can begin managing your page. Let's see what else you can do here. Let's just go back. And you can see there is page recommendation. And you can see how well your page is doing. So. For now, we have a good recommendation. So, and you can keep checking this to ensure that your page is in good status and it just doesn't have any strikes, doesn't have any issues. And uh, a good way to do that is by following the community standards and you can read more about them in this section. So, on the page setup tab, this is under audience and visibility, you can see uh, your name, you can see the people who have access, you can see the page status, you can see uh, if the page is being recommended. And here, if we click view for the page, 
this is where you can see your name and username it's always recommended to also have a username so once you come to the general settings you can come and set your username here and so you choose a username that is available uh, i know if i search video production uh, that might not really be available because a lot of people use it so you can customize it let's say with your company name or with let's say a country initial at the end until you get a name that fits you and then you can save changes and what that helps is let's say you are sharing a page the username is what will appear here at the end so let's say you have your your username set and it's the video uh k k a so this is a kind the link that you'll be sharing with people so it's always best to have a username for easier shareability of your page here also on the settings there are different privacy settings that you can look into um settings such as uh, who is allowed to tag you so you can change the settings based on your preference if you want other people to share your posts um, if you want other people to tag you so all these settings are to ensure that um, you align your page based on on your preferences and uh, that's about it when it comes to creating a page let me show you another way that you can create a page if you go to the meta business suit um, this is a bit how it looks like if you don't have a business portfolio you can come here and create a business portfolio but if you already do have one you can just you can just get into the business portfolio um, uh, this that i'm using for this demonstration is digest reviews and once you go into into the business studio and click on settings here you see different section there is the users uh, where you have people and you can also invite people to this business portfolio um, there is the pages there is the ad accounts and so i'm just going to show you how to create a new page but there's a lot of things that you can do on the business um, the meta business suit uh, including uh, scheduling content, planning for content, viewing your insights, uh, checking out the inbox of both your Facebook and Instagram pages. And so to create a page, you just come to the pages section and it shows the pages that are already there. Uh, but you, now to create, to create a new page, you click on add and you come to the last option that is create a new facebook page and this is what pops up so you can create your page as we had done with the previous uh, demonstration so you add the categories uh, that are in line with the page and then you create a short bio you click next and um, you agree to the meta terms and so this is going to put a request to add this page to be added to this particular business portfolio and then once you agree to the terms and conditions and uh, your page is being created and that's created so we are just gonna click done and so this is the page that we created you can see the people that are assigned to the page and uh, here is where you can add people um, but then also how do you add uh, customized settings to this page you you just come here to the connect assets just next to the connect assets is uh, a hamburger menu so you click on that and you click view on facebook so this takes you back to facebook as as you can see here so you can just switch into that 
a page and then customize it as I had showed you earlier. So that's uh, how you can create a Facebook page both on um, from your Facebook profile and from uh, the Meta Business Suit for Facebook. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if it has been a help to you. And see you on the next one.